Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. On my previous video, I actually done the 120mm fan test based on their airflow and their noise. Now, for those of you who have actually not seen that video, you can click on the top right hand corner. I will just leave the link over there. Now, on that video itself, right, some have mentioned to me that I should test those fans on the radiator itself, which I'm going to show you today. Before I do so, right, these are the fans that I've actually selected from the previous video. Not all, but some. First off is actually the Arctic P12 PWM fan, followed by the uh, NIDAC Gentle Typhoon. This is actually the Noctua NF A12 x 25 PWM. This is the Lianli SL120 Unifans. This is the uh, EK Verdar Evo 120 ER fans. And last but not least, the Lianli Bora Digital. Now, I'm just going to explain to you the methodology that how I'm going to test these fans. The methodology of the test itself right, is pretty straightforward. I've actually created this so-called uh, chamber device whereby I can place... Okay, this is actually the radiator that I've actually got. It's actually see-through, if you can see. Now, so what this does is actually I can place the fan in push configuration or pull configuration. So the air will channel through this um, so-called box that I've actually done and it will lift up this leaflet. And over at the other end, right, where you can see there are markings over here, so it would tell that how much the airflow is. And of course, I'll be using an alkalic to actually cover this while doing the demo, so that it does channel all the air within the box itself out through just one outlet. And I noticed that there's a gap here. This is deliberately Sitting that, you know, uh, in the case itself, right, it's actually bigger than this, so I'm just letting some air out. Now, having to say this, right, I do make use of this device whereby I can actually control um, high voltage and low voltage so that the fan itself, right, will run on low RPMs and high RPMs. Some additional info, I've actually built this box reason being I do not have a CFM meter to actually measure the static pressure from the fan through the radiator. So this box will help me out as in like the fan pushes the air through the radiator and it will chamber focus air within the box itself out to only one outlet. So based on this leaflet, right, I will be able to actually see what's the static pressure. Now on the test itself, right, you will see something like that. Do take note on the uh, legends itself whereby it states on the top of each um, fans. It will tell you the uh, brand name of the fan and the uh, model number and followed by the uh, ampere. And I'll test on low and high. There will be a notification over here whereby it will tell you low voltage, meaning you say the fan is actually running on low RPMs and high, which the fans are actually running on high RPMs. And do take note on this check mark. I will check it, meaning to say I have actually selected the fan. Next, I'll test on the uh, noise uh, with this build. So I'll start off with low and high. I'll start off with the uh, non-RGB fans and then followed by the ARGBs and the RGB fans.
just to highlight and to entice you, for gamers out there, you can actually join this uh, game Facebook known as Critical Gaming 93, which is actually created by a good friend of mine. Now, he does on live streaming as he play the game with his uh, friends and with those people who actually join this community itself. Currently, they are playing this game called Monster Hunter World, which is quite popular, I believe. And at times, they do play Call of Duty. Currently, they're actually waiting for a very, very latest game, which is known as Cyberpunk 2077. That's right, Cyberpunk 2077. If you guys are into this game, right, you can probably join him at his uh, community at Facebook, which is Critical Gaming 93. Now, the animation that I've actually shown you, right, the Critical Gaming 93 and the Cyberpunk 2077, in fact, is done by a very good artist known as Rong. This is actually his YouTube channel. You can actually patronize his uh, YouTube channel. I'll leave the link on my description. Now, if you guys are YouTube content creators and if you want something flashy for your intro and your extra, you can probably actually contact him through Instagram. I'll just leave the um, Instagram link on my description. You can actually approach him and he might be able to actually help you out with all these flashy and cool animations. Before I proceed with the pressure airflow test results, if you want to recap on the noise and the airflow of all these fans, you can actually rewind my video and to play back again. Now, this test is actually based on my own opinion and the way that I've actually select fans. There are three main categories that how I select fans. First will be the airflow, second the noise, and third the ampere. Ampere in fact is actually the strength required for the fan blades to spin, meaning you say it requires a certain certain strength that is drawn from your PSU, the 12 volt reel, that enables the fan to spin. I'll start off with the non-ARGB and the non-RGB fans, which is actually the Arctic, the Gentle Typhoon, and Noctua. First category to choose, in fact, is airflow. So be it low or high, I've actually captured all the uh, diagrams over here based on the videos that I've shown you. Now on low and high, right, I noticed that Arctic and Gentle Typhoon is in fact producing more airflow, be it low or high, compared to Noctua. The second thing that I will consider is actually the noise itself. So by comparing these two which I've actually selected, the Arctic and Gentle Typhoon, looking at the noise itself, right, high and low, especially on the high part, I would choose the Arctic because it produces lesser noise. Third factor is the Ampere. Looking at Arctic and Gentle Typhoon, yes, they are pretty close, but I would prefer to actually choose a lesser Ampere as it doesn't take much strength from the 12 volt reel. Plus, bonus point is that it's actually very um, low in noise, be it low or high. And another factor why I choose the Arctic itself because it's actually a PWM fan whereby you can actually um, do your fan curve on the motherboard itself. Else for Gentle Typhoon, right? It's only a 3-pin um, fan connection where it does not allow PWM. Next will be the RGB and the ARGB fans, which over here is the Lenny Uni SL120, EK Verda Evo, and the Lenny Bora Digital. Now, first category, as mentioned, airflow. Be it low or high, I noticed that the Lenny Uni fans and the EK Verda fans are producing very good airflow, as you can compare as compared to the uh, Lenny Bora Digital. Next will be the noise. Now looking at the noise itself, right, I do understand that um, Bora Digital is actually producing lesser noise compared to the uh, Evo, but looking at the airflow itself, right, in fact, Evo is actually a leap ahead. In fact, EK have beaten both the Lenny fans in terms of airflow. The only thing that is actually uh, losing out is only on the noise itself. Now, third factor will be the amperage. As you can see, I've actually chosen the Lenny Uni and the EK Verda. Reason being, right, the Lenny Bora is actually running on 0.21. So having to say this, first, I would actually choose the uh, Lenny Uni fan. They are quiet, or should I say all-rounder, quiet, 
and the amperage is low and the airflow is pretty good and to to my surprise that these fans does very well when you place them on radiators because when i did my previous test without the radiator right they failed on the airflow as for the second option i would choose the ek verda though at high voltage meaning you say full rpms is running on very noisily but look at the low rpms itself or should i say low voltage the airflow defeat both Lian Li fans and I believe that with fine-tuned adjustment on the fan curve on your motherboard itself right not allowing this fan to run at max RPM this will definitely tackle the noise issue my final thoughts about the uh, static and airflow fan itself if you were to choose this fans that's actually listed here the Arctic P12 the Lian Li Unifan the NIDAC Gentle Typhoon and the uh, EK Verda EVO 120 ER you will never go wrong reason being right they have good airflow they don't really produce noise except for the uh, EK you have to be careful a bit you need to do some um, so-called fan curve and not allowing to actually run on full RPM you will be fine and last but not least the uh, ampere itself it does not take that much strength or should I say energy off from a 12 volt rail and it does produce so much air now a shout out to Lewin Limay to Heverson Faras and to Just Did It thank you very much for commenting on my past video on the uh, small battle on the 120mm fans whereby you have prompted me a question that I should actually test the um, Unifan on a radiator itself and to my surprise I was not expecting that and this I should say impressed me a lot it does produce very good airflow when you place them on radiators and i did notice on the uni fan itself right looking at the fan blade itself as i measure the diameter is in fact 110 millimeter millimeters this probably tells me why it didn't score well on the airflow else when you chamber it on the um, radiator itself right it does channel a lot of air all right then, there you have it. The results are out and my thoughts to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, goodbye.